So in this video, I'm going to talk about what the epidermis is and the different types of cells that are located in the epidermis. To begin with, let's essentially understand what the epidermis is. And so the epidermis has keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. And so what that means is it has very flat cells that are packed into many layers. Additionally, the epidermis does not have blood vessels. So in order for nutrients and waste to get around, they have to diffuse from the blood vessels in the loose connective tissue. And so the loose connective tissue has blood vessels that will supply nutrients to the epidermis by diffusion. The blood vessels will also take the waste of the epidermis by diffusion as well. And so finally, the really important thing to remember is that it has dead cells at the surface packed with keratin. And so keratin, what it does is it allows the epidermis to be tougher. And so now let's talk about the different cells of the epidermis. And so the five cells that we're going to talk about are stem cells, keratinocytes, melanocytes, tactile cells, and dendritic cells. To begin with, stem cells are undifferentiated cells that give rise to keratinocytes. And these stem, cell, these stem cells sorry, are also found in the deepest layer of the epidermis, which as you can see on the right is a stratum bacillae. And so after the keratinocytes are formed by the stem cells, keratinocytes make up the great majority of epidermal cells. And they synthesize keratin, which provides strength to your hair, your skin, and your nails. Then you have melanocytes, which are only found in the deepest layer, and they synthesize melanin, which is a pigment that shields your DNA from UV radiation. And one cool thing is, as melanin is being made, the keratinocytes phagocytize, so essentially break up the melanin fragments, and then essentially move the melanin onto the sun-facing side of the nucleus in order to protect the nucleus. So what it does is the keratinocytes moves the melanin to block the UV radiation from penetrating the nucleus or the genetic information. Then you have tactile cells, which are also found in the deepest layer, and they have touch receptors associated with dermal nerve fibers. So essentially what they do is they help, in a sense, with sensory, so with feeling touch. And then finally, probably the most important one, are dendritic cells. And so, Dendritic cells are essentially macrophage-like cells that originate in the bone marrow. And so they come from the bone marrow and move into the epidermis. But once they're in the epidermis, they don't roam around the body. They stay in the epidermis. On the other hand, macrophages compared to dendritic cells, macrophages are pretty mobile. So dendritic cells are not mobile. But what they are pretty similar in is that dendritic cells guard against toxins, microbes, and other pathogens, other pathogens that penetrate skin. And dendritic cells can alert your immune system when they detect the pathogens in the skin. And so that pretty much sums it up for the cells of the epidermis. And so, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.